Hello everyone, Elohim here, and welcome back to Cubed Chaos. Ooh, yeah! Alright, now, I'm gonna be honest, in between episodes I haven't really done much. I'm gonna make, you know, a few strength potions. Yeah, just making potions, uh, gathering nether wart. Working on that project with uh, Lilith that I was telling y'all about. Uh, Trigger Cane Farm has worked. It's not very fast, but eh, not bad. I'm sure there's a, some stuff I can do to it to make it work better, and we'll get around to that once I learn what it is. Alright, but as I promised last episode, I would show off what me and Lilith were working on. Which, here on the server, we all have our own bases, and we have uh, apartments as well, in, uh, over at the Boring Market. Come on, there we go. I'm going to apologize if there's uh, any lag. I've been uh, lagging quite a bit here lately. I don't know why. But, uh... Me and Lilith decided to share an apartment, and we've been decorating it. So, we'll head there and show that off. Oh, I love coming through the nether hub. I do want to apologize if you hear some beeps in the background. That's my Discord. Which, even when I completely close it out, go into Task Manager and cut it off that way too, I still get the notifications and the beeping of anything that's happening in Discord. But, eh, it's not that big of a deal. And here we are in the Bullring Market again. Oh, we're landed. Sorry about that, guys. I always tend to have a little lag when uh, in the Bullring Market. Let's see, yeah, the apartments are over here. Now I'm not going to show off anyone else's apartments. Uh, just mine and Lilith's. Now, I do want to apologize because we are on one of the... We're not on, like, the top floor, but we are on a pretty high up floor. So, it does take a minute to get up to the apartment. This place is massive. All the builds on here are massive, too. Which is just epically awesome. If you've never been on a server with, you know, builds like that, oh, you're missing out. It is so mind blowing to walk into some of these places and just look around. You can get lost for hours just enjoying looking at people's builds on here. Or that could just be me. And this is the floor me and Lilith are on. We are on the blue floor. Last time I was up here, we were the only ones. Oh, lag and rubber banding. Yeah, last time I was up here, me and Lilith were the only ones on the floor, yeah. So this is what the apartments start out looking like. And this is mine and Lilith. We went for a nether themed look. Love the sound of the fires. It's just wonderful. Sorry, my mouse. I keep having to drop the sensitivity on it. 
And every time I log back in, it's like, oh, yeah, sensitivity is where I left it, but it's like uber sensitive. I don't know why. Maybe I just need a new mouse. But yeah, that's the apartment. Now, with the fact that I've been spending so much time working on that, because if you notice, the ceiling of it is mostly uh, nether wart blocks. That took a long time to get the uh, warts for that. So I haven't really had time to do much off camera or prepare much. I've done a little bit of potion brewing, but that's about it. I figured today we might look around the Blue Ring Market, see some of the Christmas decorations that have gone up. Look at that sleigh up there. Yeah, that is just awesome. Rudolph. Come around here. We'll look at some of the other stuff once I show you all the sleigh. That is just cool looking. All right, then we have, I'll show you some of the shops over here. This shop right here, which I love the design. Uh, but, you know, y'all know me. I love anything that's, you know, the end and ender. And this shop. Kind of interesting to climb up <laughs> nowhere near annoying is owned by the owner of the server I'm gonna look at some of the study cells right, he sells for three diamond blocks one elytra Lux you got some diamonds waiting on you Come up here, uh, dragon egg, one diamond each. Oh, yeah, got another ender head. Over here, you have purple blocks, in stone, in stone brick. For all the people who don't like going to the end but want some of the stuff, in rods. I'll say he did a wonderful job building this place. But the owner of the server is the one who built most of the Bullring Market and the City of Chaos. Uh, the apartment building. Over here we have a Ender Chest Shop. I do believe that's what this one was. Let's see. Yes. And it has just recently been restocked. I don't need another inner chest right now. I have one. Over here, we have some horses. The Redstone Consultant, uh, yeah, yeah, since losing my teeth, I can't say that word. Real nice. Uh, I miss my days of doing Redstone. Got a lot to learn. Uh, over here we have a shop that can you guess what it sells. If you said chickens, you're wrong. Over here, we have the shop of Gazuki, where she just kind of sells random things. Uh, stone, stone block bur or stairs, food, 
saddles, stone brick blocks, stone brick blocks, more stone. You come back here, go downstairs, and heads, bones, fishing poles, bows that are enchanted, uh, dirt and grass blocks. Uh, some of those are dirt. I wonder whether or not uh, that's full. That's why. And if you come upstairs, see what's up here. Nice, nice, nice. Now I will say, Godzuki is who I have bought most, if not all of my enchanted books from, but unless I, you know, made the book myself. I do a lot of business with her. Don't, I don't remember what this store over here is. I love the potion bottle on top. Let's see, employees only. Let's see. Cheap items. Okay. Grass, dirt, trap chest. Power rails. So uh looks like a random store. String. Yeah, I love string. Nope, oh, I think I gotta go out this side. is oh title text okay I think it's exactly uh yeah that we have this wonderful redstone shop I love the door no clue who owns it but yeah I like it And everything red sun you could possibly want seems to be here. All for reasonable prices, too. And that's the thing. Nobody really charges, like, super high amounts on here, which is wonderful. Most shops have, as you notice, an ender chest in them, which is great for me since I keep all my diamonds in my ender chest. Ooh, there's this place. I've yet to do business here. But, armor stands. <laughs> Armor. Nice. Not sure who owns the shop. I still haven't met most of the people on the server here. Uh, the ones I have met are really awesome, like the owner of it, um, Godzuki, uh, several other people. Um, still haven't got to meet uh, Tanella, which is somebody who I want to meet, but this is her flower shop. I mean, that's not bad prices. I mean, a diamond a stack. Obi. 
uh, he's another good guy on here. I, I like talking to him. He's got a epic looking home that him and a buddy of his are working on. Uh, we have a slime shop here. I don't know what happened to the mine cart, but it's apparently gone. <coughs> now, this is a shop I want to show y'all. To this place. Show you the outside first. Epic, right? Watch this. Watch chat. Isn't that cool? Did you say anything? No. And this place, uh, going to assume it belongs to Ace, which he is another guy who's just great. He's actually the one who built my uh, AFK fishing machine thing, whatever you want to call it. And actually didn't charge me anything at all for it. I mean, I offered, but he wouldn't take payment, so, I mean, I'm not going to argue with him. He's a really nice guy. Ace, if you're watching this, thank you. And, yes, Ace, if you are watching this, I am looking into uh, trying to learn to edit better. Um, just... I'm more of a someone shows me and me do it kind of person, but I have to be where I can ask questions. So learning to edit from YouTube videos has kind of been hard. Let's see what's this? Ooh, this spot's for sale. Look at it. Now Lux, uh, the name on the sign down there, is the owner of the server. I don't know if he does any streaming or anything, any streaming or recording. Um, I know we do have a decent amount of recording people on here and a decent amount of people who live stream. Now over here we have a... Uh, area that's uh the ocean monument shop yeah i haven't done any business here yet so let's see what they got Prince marine blocks uh nice dark prism marine nice reminds me of some of the blocks from uh Blood magic once you get up into like 1102. There's some blocks that look similar to this. Uh, three diamonds, one stack of sea lanterns. That's nice. I, I like glowstone. I like sea lanterns. But I have to say, I kind of like glowstone better. Over here... Let's try to guess what this shop is first. Alright. Now, to tell you what the shop is, it's a shulker box shop. As you can see, no shulker boxes. Over here, we have a cow shop. And no, you're not trying to buy these cows. So let me show you what you are buying here. Oh, oh, oh. From here you get a good view. That is the server is the server owner. Lux, hope you don't mind me showing that off. And here. Leather. Leather. Lots of leather. Is there anything other than leather? Yeah. Milk bucket. Milk bucket. Steaks. Steaks. Employees only. Well, I will not go in there then. Yeah. 
nice prices on here. And the owner of this shop is a very, very nice lady. She is actually the one that, uh, like within the first couple days of being on the server, I did some work for. Me and Lilith both did. Lilith did more work for her than I did, though. But uh, she is the one that provided me with the armor and this pickaxe. Over here we have this really cool looking shop. I like the gold apple up there. It's under new management. I'm not sure who's running this shop yet. Four diamonds a stack. Well, what could be four diamonds a stack? Gold apples. Yeah. Let's see. Two diamonds a stack. Gold carrots. Eight diamonds a stack. Gold blocks. Not bad. One diamond, three stacks. Gold ingots. I ended up having to do some business there. Uh, gold for the gold carrots, or just buy the gold carrots. Although I do have carrot, uh, carrot farm, so yeah. This is totems. Looks like a graveyard. I think that's what the look is for. One diamond, one totem. Totem of Undines. Not sure who owns this shop either, but there are a lot of people on here from, you know, different places in the world, so, you know, different time zones and all that. The Beacon Shop. Beacon, two diamond blocks each. But that's, uh, well, uh, I, I gotta show this one. The Squid Shop. Ink Sacks. Ink Sacks. Tangled Up. Now, that is actually the person who owns the cow shop that I was talking about. And. <coughs> Before I leave, I will show off uh, a shop I have shown off a, uh, one time before on here. But I will show it off again. It has now opened for business. Now, there are a lot more shops on here, but we are out of time for the recording. And I'm going to show off this one last place before uh, ending the recording. And that would be Lilith's shop. Where she sells her time. She goes and helps people with uh, gathering stuff. And they pay her for time. And then she has that. that is all the time I have for recording today if you like what you saw here you know what to do hit that like button down below uh, comment down below feel free to check out my social media in the description I know I don't bring that up very often but it is down there um, if you are 18 or older and play Minecraft on PC there is a link in the description to the public discord for this server where if you are 18 or older you can apply to join us here on the server i highly recommend it i mean there's a lot of great people on here it's really laid back but you do have to be 18 or older uh as it was put in the or as it was put to me you know banter happens you know people talk on here say whatever they want so 
for the interest of you know people not having to censor themselves and for the interest of you know younger people not hearing things they shouldn't that is why it's an 18 and up and this elf has a big old butt but thank you everybody for watching and i will see you next time mm -hmm.